Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover the repeat and stop macros within SugarCube 2.36. So when using SugarCube, we often find ourselves in situations where we want something to happen multiple times within a passage. If that's the case, the repeat macro might be the best candidate for that job. At the same time, while things are repeating, we don't always want things to repeat indefinitely. So the stop macro can play a role in that as well. But let's look at three different examples of how this might work. So the repeat macro, as I started this video with, repeats. It runs any corresponding macros within it based on whatever time it's given. And notice times are s for seconds, ms for milliseconds. So right here, this will repeat one second and keep repeating over and over again. Right here, updating corresponding story wide variable seconds to seconds plus one, and then we will see time elapsed seconds. So let's go ahead and run this code right here, example one and look at an interesting problem that does arise when we can use this. So notice that the repeat macro is running over and over and over and over and over, and it's going to keep going, but every time it's running, it's adding lines because it's a macro within SugarCube right here. So there might be some cases where you don't want this to happen, in which case you probably want to pair this with the silently macro. So as a quick review, when we use the silently macro, it doesn't produce output. So right here, this will do the same thing the previous passage did, except it won't produce any output. So over here in example one, where we had time elapse that will no longer work when working with the silently macro. Instead, we work with the replace macro right here to replace the content of this division element right here, this div, and it will say time elapse and produce the same general effect but do it slightly differently. So let's go ahead and move over to example two. So passage um, over here to example two, build and play. And notice we're not getting that same effect. Notice that the functionality is the same. The repeat macro is running every second, still doing what it's doing, but this time time elapse is being updated based on the replace macro pairing with the repeat macro. So as mentioned at the beginning of this video, there might be some cases where we want to repeat things multiple times, as we saw with example one and example two. There might also be some cases where you want things to stop at a certain point, maybe when a countdown or when it hits a certain point, force a player reader to go to a different passage. So for that, let's look at example three. So in both example one and example two, we were counting up. We can, of course, also count down. So in this case, same thing, one second. Notice it's also paired with the silently macro inside this, so it's not producing output internally. We're updating seconds to minus one, starting at five, so five counting down. We're replacing time remaining down here, same setup again. But notice I've now got a little condition in here, the if macro. So if seconds is zero, so count down from five to zero. If it does, say time's up, and then here's a friend the stop macro. The stop macro will stop the repeat macro from running. So in cases like example one, example two, if we ever want to stop, it will also stop. Keep in mind that also if you do a passage navigation, so if your reader or player clicks on a link or clicks on something that produces a link, like a link macro, and goes to another passage, then the repeat macro will also stop. So keep that in mind as well. So if we go ahead and switch Story start to example three, build and play. Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. So working with the repeat macro allows us to create things that repeat. And of course, working with the stop macro, its sister macro allows us to stop. This can be incredibly useful for doing things with timing within SugarCube. So if you want to count up or count down based on some amount of time, seconds or milliseconds, we can do that. And also can be really useful if you want to force something, force a player reader to make a choice, and if they don't make a choice, send them to another passage or refresh the current passage and force that decision again. There's lots of different possibilities, again, working with the repeat and the stop macro within SugarCube 2.36. Thanks for watching.